When reporters go to press secretaries' funerals, it's usually to make sure they're dead. But not this time. Reporters and scores of others came out to honor a man who somehow served both his masters and the public. Bob Berg served many very different masters, Republican Governor William Milliken and Democratic Mayors Coleman Young and Kwame Kilpatrick. He was often in the crosshairs, but shunned the spotlight. Bob never had one shining moment because that would mean that his light would have shined brighter than somebody else's and he would never let that happen. For a simple Illinois farm boy, Berg took to Detroit politics like he was born here. He knew the importance of diversity and not just because he was often the only white guy in the room. Bob didn't wear his commitment to racial justice on his sleeve, but he demonstrated it in his honest, workmanlike approach to racial issues. He didn't confront bigots with argument, but he was always ready to respond with facts. Berg dispensed lots of good advice, even though his clients didn't always take it. Larry Simmons, a colleague in the Young Administration, said he lives by these 10 words he learned from Berg. If you're mad and it feels good, don't do it. <laughs> Berg died of cancer last week at 76. Former Detroit Free Press reporter Bill McGraw knew him in his city hall heyday. Bob was often in shouting matches with reporters, you know, privately over the phone or whatever. And I think it's an incredible tribute to him that uh, a number of reporters became friends with him after we all left city hall. So as we heard today, uh, he was excellent at the jobs he did, but he was an excellent person too. Calm, wise, trusted, moral, even meticulous Baker. The tributes to Berg poured in, though no one will miss his driving. So I guess my dad was kind of a big deal. <laughs> After listening to his children, Lola, Melanie, and Eric, it's clear that Berg's droll sense of humor will live on. But let there be no doubt, Bob Berg was a big deal. Rest in peace, my friend. ML Elric, Fox 2 News.